had postponed her carriage of social issues in the Senate. And my colleague, Ansel Beach from Garden Hills. I join them today not just as a woman, but as a sitting member of the House of Assembly who had oversight of the former Ministry of Social Services and Community Development and the expansion of the Bureau of Women's Affairs. While the minister responsible, I took matters affecting women very seriously and made a concerted effort to access international research and support to address some of these vexing issues as mentioned by Senator Strong. I have always been deeply concerned and distressed on the matter of violence and discrimination against women and was sure not only to personally learn of the principles guiding the United Nations in this regard, but fought for and gained the support of my colleagues, the clergy, the public through town meetings and the parliament for the passing of the Domestic Violence Protection Orders Act 2007. Like the provisions of the Child Protection Act, I do not believe the government has done enough to ensure public education on the provisions of the Domestic Violence Protection Orders Act. In fact, this was also the view of the Human Rights Council of the United Nations General Assembly, who in the report of its 10th session, dated January 7, 2009, encouraged the Bahamas among its recommendations, and I quote, to ensure the full and effective implementation of the Domestic Violence Protection Orders Act, end of quote. And further, I quote, to continue to take effective measures to address the serious social problem of rape and to reinforce its domestic legislation concerning domestic violence against women, end of quote. I do not believe that these recommendations have been followed by our government. Under the Christie administration, several strides were made in addressing issues facing women. These included the implementation of a line item in the budget for the Bureau of Women's Affairs, which was increased over the years increased level of staffing and in early 2007 we secured funding and initiated work on the first country report to the convention for the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. I understand that report has been completed and submitted. We also appointed a task force on women's issue, women's issues to consider and make recommendations for the amendment of legislation pertaining to women. Submissions were also made before the Constitutional Reform Commission and recommendations considered in both the Child Protection and Domestic Violence Protection Orders Act. And I might add that Senator Strong served on that task mm -hmm. force. I am not sure, in fact, I am certain that the present government has not given women and our challenges in society the attention we need at this moment in our country's development. This current spate of domestic violence against women and the chilling and gruesome murders of so many women speak volumes as to the neglect of women's issues nationally and their deafening silence, the government's deafening silence leaves much to be feared and desired. And you would have heard Dr. Sandra Dean Patterson just early today through the media voicing her concerns again about the statistics regarding the rape of women and the treatment of victims. Social issues require action, not live service, photo opportunities, or event opportunities. I call on the government to provide 
the much needed leadership in this critical area of our nation that impacts all that we do and say. And I want to speak to our sisters out there who find themselves in situations that are abusive for them and their children. You do not have to stay in those relationships. There is help for you. Please seek it before it is too late.